Thank you for watching. So today I'm going to be showing you how to curl your hair with a straightener. It's so funny because back when I was in high school, that's the only way I really knew how to curl my hair. I didn't even know about the wands and about wrapping your hair, and I didn't even know that there's like 10 different kinds of curls that you can do. So I know I did old Hollywood curls, and I've done big waves and all kinds of other curling videos, so this one's a little bit different. Of course, it's with a straightener, so that's why the curls look like this. They're bigger, they're more flowy, and they stay a lot longer this way. The straightener that I'm using is by Numi, and I have the pink one. And what's really cool is for the holidays, they gave me a coupon. It's Bible for Numi. I'll list that below. And you, I think you can get a straightener for like $49. $49? I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure it's $49. And they come in all different colors. I actually got, I'm not going to say who, but someone in my family, a green one. In case they watch it, I don't want them to see it. So, what I love about curling my hair with this strainer is that it lasts for like two days. So tomorrow when I wake up and if I brush it out, it's gonna be like nice big waves, and that's such a plus. So if you want to learn how I curl my hair with a strainer, please keep watching. First, you're gonna to want to section off your hair and pin the top half up. Then you're going to want to take a comb, hopefully yours doesn't look like what mine looks like, but you're just going to want to brush through the hair to make sure it's nice and smooth. Taking my Numi straightener, I'm then going to clamp it over my hair and I'm going to be spinning the straightener around like this. You're going to want to pull the end of your hair, pull it around and continue to circle the straightener and pull it down to the bottom of your hair. I don't know if I'm really explaining that that well, but I'm going to show you a couple times how I do it just so you can get the idea.
For the front pieces, the only difference is you're going to be holding the hair up and you're going to be spinning the iron away from your face and that's going to help the curls stay away from your face. Whenever I curl my hair with a straightener, it's important to use some sort of argan oil on the ends because your hair is going to be a little bit fried, so the argan oil really helps to smooth it out and give it a really shiny look. You're going to want to run your fingers through your hair and then go over any pieces that maybe aren't as curled as they were previously. For hairspray, I'm going to be using L'Oreal El Knit Satin, the one I always use, and I'm just going to be spraying it all over my hair. This part is optional, but if you want to tease the back, it's just going to give it some more volume. So I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial, and you can definitely try it out for the holidays. And remember, I do have a coupon code to get this strainer for only $49, so go check it out. Have a great holiday, guys. This is the last time you tell me I've got it wrong. This is the last time I say it's been you all along. This is